Ooh, that's a good response. Hoot, hoot. When, when an owl's flying near you, if you say who, that makes that's them comfortable. That's a beautiful owl. I know owls are your favorite bird, right? Or when one I, of your favorite animals, right? Yeah, when I was a child, everybody called me Little Hoot because I was a night owl and I'd stay up all night. And my mom said as long as I was doing something creative, I could stay up as long as I wanted to. But uh, this is a beautiful is, owl. And you know, I wanted to find the most beautiful owl on the earth, and this is it. This is a spectacle owl found in South America. And because Halloween's right around the corner, and, and we're trying to define what fall animals are, but you know what happens every Halloween is I get a bunch of ideas to freak you out, and I've been freaking you out over the years, oh, yes. many, many, many times. Over a decade. Over a yeah. decade of freakouts. So this year I decided to be a little nicer, bring the cuter Halloween animals and animals that you'd see around fall. Orange eyes. I know. So well, beautiful. And that's what makes them kind of look like a great horned owl, but the orange eyes make, uh, will lead you to believe that it's the uh, Eurasian eagle owl. And again, this bird won't eat other birds, but it will eat rabbits. It will eat small deer. I'm so happy I did Isn't not bring my Izabu to work I today. Know. And believe it or not, a dog could be on a menu for a bird that size. It's the largest Isabu in the world. Izabu looks like a small deer. She's the same color. So. Yeah. Hi, honey. I'm glad you stayed home today. <laughs> See how beautiful these are. Are these, by far, are these the biggest toads you've ever seen? These are ridiculous. So with these two toads, they're one of the largest. They're called marine toads. And how many people think that if Rachel were to touch this toad, she'd get warts? That's kind of, We're not finding we're out. We're not finding out, but. <laughs> No, nope. no, thank you. But, Why don't you let him go for a little swim or something? Instead? Well, let him hop. Believe it or not, I can't because toads, which make them much different than frogs, they live a completely terrestrial life. These guys. Oh, live they don't like water. They don't like water. No, this is for our last animal. But these two toads, again, are the biggest, and they are native to South America, but have now been invasive. You can find them in Florida. You can find them in Australia. <laughs> they can actually fit another frog, not that much smaller than themselves. Now, what do they mouth. eat? Just bugs? They eat bugs. These toads, believe it or not, could eat rats. They in the wild, eat a rat. they eat rats and other frogs and insects. Well, you'll be very happy in New York City, my right. friend. See, everyone knows about lions and tigers and leopards and cheetahs, Aww. but our planet is home to all these small species of wild cats that have incredible adaptations. And now at eight weeks old, she's actually learning to swim in the wild in Southeast Asia, where they're from. They'll literally, some, they live in the water. They have webbed feet, they submerge, their head is kind of shaped like an otter. And because it's Halloween, we've got a little apple in there. We thought she might bob for Aww. apples a little bit. But look at, so she's learning so to swim. So do they eat fish out of the water? Do they go fishing The or majority what? of their diet is fish. This is a wild species of cat, hence the name fishing cat. Wow. And you can always tell a wild cat over a domestic cat too. Look at the little white spots on the back of the ears. You'll, those are called ocellaria. You'll find them on bobcats, fishing cats, cheetahs, lions, leopards. They all have those two little white spots which help with their camouflage.